and we're gonna be staying in one of those luxury bubble camps tonight, which would be super awesome. Um, so it's a three hour drive to Petra, it's super easy to get transportation. Our neighbor across in uh, another apartment does tours and whatever, but it's super easy to find or book online. So three hours to Petra and then we're gonna be exploring all day and then we're gonna go check into our bubble at night. So take you guys along with us. Stop five minutes out of the way on our way to Petra. We're at Ashubak right now. This castle up here in these crazy ruins that look like Utah. And I guess there's a hotel here that only sleeps two people. The sign right here says it's the smallest hotel in the world. This man here, uh, manager hotel here, Abu Ali, name Abu Ali. Salam, excuse me, Kevin. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this is sick. So right now we're transferring into a Toyota 4x4 truck and we paid 25 JD which is going to take us to the monastery which is the very end of Petra and then we're going to hike backwards to come back in because otherwise it's like an 8 hour hike and this should cut it into 3 since we only have one day here. So we're heading out. JD for a 10 minute 4x4 ride is because it apparently saves you the out and back of Petra rather than just if you start at the back with the Jeep you just go back to the front. Uh, 25 is a lot and he stopped they say they're gonna take you to Adir which is the monastery but they actually take you an hour from it so you have to hike an hour and then go to it and they don't really tell you that until after and then there's donkey rides available if you'd like to do that for another 40 JD which is like 50 US dollars and it's just kind of annoying and they say they're gonna take you that and everyone I don't know feels like there's so many tourist scams when you're traveling that I kind of forgot about because it's been so long with COVID but it's what it is it's beautiful out here so we're enjoying it Is the pirate of the Caribbean? <laughs> <laughs> we we'll make a call for you. It will be viral. <laughs> you have to see. To make uh, like this three times. Three times. You make it the opposite. Look. See. 
It's good he make the video to uh, to number what we do after. Davey looks so good. So Awad is gonna take us on donkeys the rest of the way to the monastery. The mule. The mule, excuse me, the mule. Uh, and he told us the guy with the Jeep, bad guy. Life is experience. This is Awad. Oh, Hi, no, how are you? Sort of. So 15, 20 minute maybe to the monastery, and then we walk downhill all the way through Petra. So <laughs> eventful day so far. <laughs> Like everything to your mom, she believe you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know all the story. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Hey, Keep <laughs> going on the edge of the cliff. Nice. Dave doesn't like Jesus. it too much. Tell him. Look at your horse walking on the wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very fun and eventful experience riding the mules, but very stressful on the side of cliffs. Swim shady? What? Swim shady? Swim shady? Swim So we just made it to kind of the city center inside of Petra. Saw the monastery and Lionsgate. Now we're gonna be kind of just cruising to all the other spots. It's so beautiful, it's so hot, um, but it's amazing. getting exhausting every little bit we try to hop in a spot with some shade one of these little restaurants or just somewhere where the sun isn't hitting um, but it really is unbelievable I don't know if this falls on like the seven wonders of the world list or whatever but if it doesn't it definitely belongs on it it's unbelievable to think that this stuff has been here for almost 2,000 years if not longer and that it has held so you know, it's still here this much longer and it looks pretty intact, the ones that are built into the rock. So it's really amazing. So here is the theater. Unbelievable. Some dwellings up top. And then that way is the treasury. Right now I'm gonna go climb up to the tomb of Unashu. Probably said that wrong, so apologies. And then after that we're gonna go to the treasury, finally the hot spot, what everyone comes here for. This will be a nice little scramble up there. So this behind me is the tomb of Unashu. Unbelievable, the stone and the rock just holding. Perfect, it looks unbelievable. A um, Little bit of a scramble up. I left my bag with my brother. Uh, thankfully, because that would have kept me off balance, but unreal. Look at 
at this architecture. So we made it to the famous treasury and it is unbelievable, um, minus all of the people trying to get all the tourists to get paid to go to the top and sell a bunch of other things. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen, that's for sure. The treasury is behind me. We're going up another 10 dinar. So left and right we've been paying today, but I think it's just part of the game coming here. That is all it for Petra. Like, we did like 10 miles and like 2,000 feet of elevation gain, which is way more than anyone said. So we were beat doing that in like 100 degree weather. So we're getting a pizza now at the place next to the visitor center. Then we're gonna get a taxi and check into our bubble hotel, which should be super cool. Um, definitely gonna enjoy it and enjoy the AC. We made sure it had an AC and a shower because our shower in Amman like just spits drops of water at you. Uh, so super stoked for that and I will show you guys when we arrive. So we made it to our bubble. <laughs> this is wild. It feels like this was made out of blankets. Uh, so sick. Never stayed in anything like this in my life. And we have AC and a shower. Gonna be amazing. Um, looks awesome. We're scattered around beautiful rock formation, so it's gonna be an awesome night. Give a little tour of this place for you guys and then show you a little bit of sunset and sunrise. But to be honest, we were so smoked from today that we'll probably keep the filming small. Um, but definitely wanna show you guys around camp and everything because this is unreal. <laughs> Here's our camp, that's our bubble. Amazing rocks to climb on. The sun's about to set. It's another cool little Bedouin camp. So I know there's some pretty cool and like quirky Airbnbs in the States, but I've actually never stayed at one of those cool ones, like tiny homes or bubbles or domes or yurts, but this is a traditional Jordan Bedouin camp. So first for everything, um, it's so freaking cool. I'm just roaming the grounds right now, climbing all of these rocks. At least the ones that seem like I'm allowed to. But beautiful, beautiful, and amazing day all around. I guess this whole place at night just lights up with these candles and lights all across all across the Bedouin camp, which is pretty unbelievable. So we just had a delicious dinner. Um, we were talking to one of the ladies that runs Seven Wonders. She was mentioning that Petra typically has 6,000 daily visitors, and right now that's like two to 300, which is pretty wild. And also for this entire camp, I think there's, between all of them, more than 80 rooms, and there's six of us tonight, six guests for 80 some rooms. So three bubbles are occupied and none of the tents or some of the other bubbles, so that's pretty wild. Uh, to show how much of an impact COVID has had in the area. Um, but gonna be done filming for the night, so see you guys in the morning. Just gonna enjoy the balcony and take some star photos. That is 
is it for our beautiful bubble hotel right now or actually this morning for sunrise just kind of shot here we were going to go to little petra but we both could have used the sleep so came out on the balcony and just kind of enjoyed it didn't really shoot too much uh, but right now we're going to go head to little petra which is like a two minute drive from here and that is going to include our time here so i'm going to show you guys that and then that should be it for our trip here That is it for little Petra and Petra as a whole. It's been unbelievable and so cool. This is like one of those big bucket list places so awesome to finally come. So I'm going to end the video here, but if you are still watching and you like this video, please like and subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next video where we explore Wadi Rum. We're gonna take a seven hour Jeep tour, ride camels, climb by our hotel. It's gonna be awesome, so check it out and thanks for watching. Yeah, we will. Neon